Assalamualaikum I'm Nur Ainina binti Jamil AS2291A will present to you about mutualism Stay tuned Did you know what is mutualism? Mutualism is biological interaction between two species wherein both the species benefit from each other. The term mutualism is attributed to the fact that both organisms are mutual beneficiaries of the interaction process. Next is, mutualism has three types, which is trophic mutualism, depressive mutualism and defensive mutualism. Let's go to the next. First is trophic mutualism, which is resource resource benefit. This is a type of mutual relationship wherein both species involve benefit in the form of resources. For example, the relationship between the coral reef and tozons and photosynthetic zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae provide the photosynthetic products to the heterotrophic entozoans. Coral entozoans remove, retain, and recycle essential nutrients from the water used by zooxanthellae and the chemical interaction between the coral cells and zooxanthellae facilitates crystallization of calcium carbonate, which means zooxanthellae helps the corals grow. Second is depressive mutualism, which is resource service benefit. The pollination process involving angiosperms, flowering plants, and insects such as bees and wasps is the best example of this form of mutualism. While the insects are resource beneficiaries, they derive food resource in the form of nectar. Plants benefit from pollination carried out by these insects, which helps them reproduce. Interestingly, several species of plants tend to mimic insects to facilitate the entire process. For instance, the floral structure and color of various orchid species closely resembles a female wasp, owing to which male wasps are deceived into the process of pollination. That is defensive mutualism which is service-service benefit. Defensive mutualism is the relationship shared by two organisms wherein one organism depends on other for protection against predator or parasite and return the favor by providing food and shelter to its protector. The best example of defensive mutualism is the relationship shared by us belonging to the genus Pseudomyrmix and various acacia tree species. While the ant takes shelter on acacia tree and depend these trees from parasites, they can benefit from shelter and food parasites provided by the tree. Next is, other than the different type I mentioned before, some sources also divide mutualism into two types, which is obligate mutualism and facultative mutualism. First, we see obligate mutualism. Obligate mutualism is the relationship between mutualists which have evolved to such a point that the two species are fully dependent on each other. Here, none of the partners can lead an independent life. Obligate mutualism can divide by two, which is obligate symbiotic and obligate non-symbiotic. But most symbioses are obligate such as symbiotic association of algae and fungi to form lichen. And some non-symbiotic mutualism are also obligate such as those formed by fungus farming ants in which neither and nor fungus can survive without the other. Last but not least, Facultative Mutualism In Facultative Mutualism, the partners may coexist without a reliance on each other and are only mutualist opportunistically. Such relationships generally do not involve type-wise relationship between two species. They, 
however, form a diffuse relationship involving a varying mixture of species. For example, honeybees visit many different species of flowering plants for nectar and many of these plants will be visited by a number of insect pollinators. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.